Here's a tip for even the most basic SolidWorks user that'll really save you some time in dimensioning drawings. Let's create a sketch on the front plane. Letter S shortcut key gives me my sketch tools where I can draw an ellipse. I'll pick these two points and make them vertical. Now let's use the letter S key and get the dimension tool. I'll place a vertical dimension and key in a value of 120. The setting you want to keep your eye on here is called mark dimension for drawing and it's depressed by default. That setting is going to enable us to show these dimensions that we're creating on the sketch when we go to make our drawing and we won't have to re-dimension. Now let's just give a basic extrusion to this sketch and maybe even put a fillet across the top. Now from the standard toolbar we'll choose that we want to create a new drawing from this extrusion. Now we just pick our favorite template and from the view palette I can drag across my front view and auto project my side, top, and even an isometric view. Now I would typically begin the process of manually redimensioning this drawing using my dimension tool. But when you have shapes like ellipses and splines, it won't automatically dimension those with that dimension tool. But we're going to take advantage of a tool called model items that's found on the annotation toolbar. For the source and destination, you can either insert all of the model dimensions that you created in the part or on a feature-by-feature -feature basis. You can choose to insert pattern instances, hole callouts, even tolerance dimensions. If you are careful about where you place the dimensions in the sketch, you can even have them show up in exactly the same location. Now, without me having to manually create these dimensions, it's showing the dimensions that were created when I made those first sketches. The extra benefit here is that you can change them right here on the drawing, and following a rebuild, it rebuilds the model, and everything is up to date.